Hi there, Teresa from the Michigan DNR. I am here inside my tent to read you a good night story. The book is called Good Night Campsite by Loretta Sponsler. Now inside every page, keep an eye out for that little squirrel. See if you can find him or her. Hopefully you have a camping trip planned for this summer, or maybe you've already gone on one. Big Meadow is a special place. Everyone wants a camping space. The sites are big with trees all around. It's a beautiful, perfect campground. Wheels roll in both big and small. Rigs arrive both short and tall. Campers come from far and wide to see the park and play outside. The park is very special too, with lots of things to see and do. There are mountains to climb and peaks to hike. There are animals to see and trails to bike. Let's meet some campers out today. Let's join them as they explore and play. Then at the end of their busy day, let's see the campsite where they stay. Do you see little squirrel? Keep an eye out. The little ones were up at dawn, boots all laced and backpacks on. They chose the trail and held the map. They even got to skip their nap. Before mom and dad can tuck them in, they seem to get a second wind. A heap of dirt and leaves and boys, busy with construction toys. The retirees have been on a quest to see all the parks before they rest. Today they went to watch the birds and ventured out among elk herds. Then they post pictures of the day for friends and family far away. They toast to living out their dream, then plan tomorrow's hike downstream. Childhood friends came for a guy's weekend. No wives, no kids, no yards to tend. They climbed all morning to reach the top, then down they flew. They would not stop. Their bikes are dirty, their muscles sore, but they can't wait to ride some more. Tonight they laugh and sing and sway and tell tales of a younger day. Three weeks now upon the trail, the backpackers hit rain and hail. A 12-mile hike, a mountain pass, has brought them to Big Meadow at last. When finally they found a spot, they pitched a tent and ate a lot. Their adventure continues at first light. For now, they rest and enjoy their sight. The grandparents sold their house up north, bought an RV, and headed forth. Today she went to shops in town. He tried to keep his putter down. Each night they cook a gourmet meal in their house upon four wheels. They take their dogs out for a walk. They still hold hands and love to talk. Aww. All day the kids have set their poles, cast their lines in fishing holes. Up the river in a blue canoe, they caught four fish and one brown shoe. Now it's time to eat their catch, build a fire and light a match. A day's hard work is almost done. All are excited, except for one. Scouts have come with badges to earn, trails to mend and lessons to learn. They worked hard to repair the land and learned the value of a helping hand. Tonight they feast on beans and franks, play tricks and think up childhood pranks. The air is filled with campfire song, the wind is cool and the shadows long. Forgot to mention there's a squirrel in every page participating in all the activities, so see if you can find. And as the sun is setting low, campers gather near the big meadow. They watch the elk as they go by. They watch the stars light up the sky. Then one by one, they nod good night and head back to their own campsite. Their fires burn warm and bright. Happy faces glow in campfire light. It's my favorite part of camping is the nighttime campfire. Until at last it's time for bed, all put away, and fire's dead. The busy day is finally done, 
Sleep until the morning sun. Good night, campsite. Sleep tight, campsite. Even little squirrel has his own campsite. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story about camping, and I hope you get out to go camping soon. Until next time.